friends, my name is Nithi Khandilwal, Assistant Professor in Biyani Group of Colleges from IT Department. Today I am delivering a video lecture on Relational Algebra which is a topic of Database Management System. Uh, so let's start. Relational Algebra is first described by Dr. E. F. Code. It is a family of algebra with a well-formed semantics used for modeling the data which is stored in relational database and defining queries on it. Uh, relational uh, algebra is basically a uh, procedural query language which take instance of a relation as an input and produce uh, the result of uh, instance of relation as an output. It uses various relational operators to perform uh, queries on relational database management system. The operators can be either unary or binary operators. Relational algebra is used uh, to understand the query execution and optimization in relational database management system. The fundamental operators of relational database management system are as follows. First, the operator is select operator. Second operator is project operator. The third operator is union operator. The fourth operator is set difference operator. The fifth operator is Cartesian predict operator. And the last operator is rename operator. The select uh, project and the rename operator is unary operator. And uh, the union operators at difference and Cartesian, these are binary operators. The first operator is select operator. The notation for select operator is sigma. Here the notation of select operator is sigma <coughs> p of x. The select operator is basically uh, select the uh, tuples that satisfy a given uh, that, that satisfy a given predicate from a relation. Basically, uh, the select operator is used to select a tuple or a row from a table. Uh, which is uh, basis on the condition uh, we apply. The notation of select operator is sigma p of x. Here sigma is a selection predicate. p is a propositional logic formula. appearing as a subscript and may use various connectors like and or not less than greater than less than equal greater than equal and equal the uh, select operator is uh, used to select a tuple from a given relation let's take an example here x is the relation in which we apply certain condition. Here we take uh, two tables. First, the first table is student table and the second table is department table. Uh, so let's take an example. Here, I put a condition, uh, the student name is Pooja. So uh, the select operator select the tuple, the whole tuple from the student table where the name is Pooja and it gives us the output as it gives us uh, the all, all the columns which is uh, uh, present in the student table. Let's take in another example.
here we give two conditions first the student name is equals to puja and second the marks is equal to 70 so again it gives us the third uh, row from student table so uh, basically select operator is used to select a tuple or a row the second operator is project operator the project operator is used to uh, select certain columns uh, that uh, is select on the basis of certain conditions the notation of select operator operator we use in select operator is pi the notation of select operator uh, project operator is pi here sigma is the project predicate here a1 a2 and a n are attributes or columns and x is a relation or a table basically project operator is used uh, to uh, select the columns from a table uh, on the basis of certain conditions let's take an example of a project operator if uh, we want to select two columns from a student table then uh, we write two column names that we want to select it gives us the output as student name Sorry. The column name is student name. Second column is class, and give it gives us the output as Ram, Sham, and the class is so it gives us uh, two columns that that is student name and class as a, an output let's take in another example of project operator in the project operator we also take two conditions uh, for example in the student table if we want the student name is and the student class of the student whose marks is equal to 70 or whose uh, marks is equal to 80 then we uh, write the query as sigma student name here we write the column that we want as an output student name and class here we uh, write the condition as sigma marks is greater than equal to 70 of table student here we write the relation on which we apply the condition so it gives us output as here it uh, check the conditions where marks uh, where marks is greater than equal to 70 whose student name and class is uh, shows as an output so here the output is this is the output of this query so uh, if uh, you want uh, to check two conditions uh, if you want to uh, fetch columns on the basis of certain condition then you use a project operator with select operator if you like my, my video then please uh, like and share my video and also subscribe our video channel thank you